the forums because that, that typo <laughs> was instantly memeable. Yes, it's been insta meme. It's insta meme. I think we're live. Sometimes it's a delay. I don't know why it's going. Yeah, no, it says, yeah, we're live now. Just a heads up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do some sharing real quick. Let's share the stream. Hey, Vino, how you doing? What's up, Frank Weber? <coughs> yeah, we're going to get into that in a minute. Let me do some sharing, and we'll do an intro and get started and stuff. Let's copy that. Roger, roger, copy, copy. I can't hear him. I can't hear my snare in my headphones. There we go. I'm so excited because we've got some new hardware on the way to uh, let us have some fun and just... It's just going to be so much fun messing around with the uh, all of the vocal effects mm -hmm. and the pedal I've got <clears> on the way. We ordered an uh, audio processing thing with some <laughs> other stuff to optimize our setup further. Yeah. The, the search for perfect audio <laughs> and not only just crisp, clean audio, but we want bells and whistles so that when we're doing our live performance of reading other people's RPGs and it's time to do the kid's voice or something, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we could just press a button and we sound like we're a chipmunk who just inhaled a bunch of helium <laughs> <laughs> as well as the, the demon voice it's gonna be fun yeah it'll be <clears throat> less stress on our voice but it'll still be um it'll sound cool i think it'll help us distinguish the characters when reading too because sometimes if you're watching and, and the, the person's reading and all the voices sound the same you don't follow the story as much as if the voices are animated uh and each character sounds distinct yeah so i want to <clears throat> set up that so they all sync i mean uh, <laughs> So, Effect Seeker, or Elf Kisser, as hold it's... Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll do an intro. <clears throat> Gosh. Wait. Good job, me. Affectionately known. Thing. Yes. Um, official content. Paste. And... Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Make sure we enter the chill zone. Can you, can you enter us yeah, in the chill zone? Yeah, enter us into the chill there zone. There we go, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be sharing screens with you, but who knows? Who knows? But what if I just open it up? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, there's really not anything much there. But Oh, yeah. Okay. I love how that works like that now. You can just set that up <laughs> anyway. Thank you, honey, honey. You're welcome. So, let's start a video. Let's, let's do, do video. It. Let's do video <laughs> stuff. Okay. How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm joined with the lovely, beautiful, talented T. Hello. Today, we are going to do something special. We're going to learn Elf Kisser. So for those of you who don't know... Warlock Games, this is actually free, and it's what we're going to use to make animations for MZ. This is a free software... It is free. <laughs> ...that, that um, <clears throat> lets you design particle effects... Uh, and import them into various engines, including RPG Maker <laughs> MZ. So that's going to be fantastic. Let me just get... Yeah, uh, Little Pie, it uh, looks a little complicated when you first start looking at it, but really it's actually extremely user-friendly okay. from what I can see so far, and we are going to look at it today, so hopefully by the time you leave the stream today, you will not feel like it's quite so complicated. Yeah, we, I mean... We don't know it yet. We just... Last night, we started looking at it and playing with it a little bit, but um, we're still going to be learning a lot more, I'm sure. But let's learn together. I want to start by saying, this isn't a tutorial. Nope. This isn't the Driftwood Gaming <laughs> tutorial. That's coming soon, but, you know, we don't have anything to teach yet because we don't know it well enough. Right. Um, but tutorials will be coming. Right. This software's been around for a while, but it's not been interesting to us because it hasn't been able to be used in MV, but now with the new MZ engine coming out in a month or two, uh, sometime this summer, um, it will be able to be used. And, and uh, this is the new way that the animations are going to be drawn into uh, the scene, the battle scene, battle manager, and, and also you can call them on uh, on the map. Not even doesn't have to be in the battle. And, uh, yeah, so let's say hi to everybody, and then we'll jump into what we got going on here. Vino, thank you. Um, Vino has uh, contacted us and said that he wants to sponsor some more 
Discord Nitro giveaways. So if you don't have Discord, it's a free software that we use to chat with each other and uh, interact with other game developers. And it's really, really awesome. Links in the description. Just click on it and it will um, take you to a page and then you can download the software if you want to or you can run it through the browser. Um, join us on Discord. If you want to participate in the amalgamation and other stuff, you can send it in right there. But if you um, stay tuned, at some point in the stream, we're giving away three uh, Discord Nitro subscriptions. So they cost about five bucks a month to um, to be a Discord Nitro member. It free gives you one month Discord free, Nitro subscriptions. Yeah, yeah. one month. Three of them that will explain 30 day subscriptions. Yes. Um, and they'll be given out <laughs> by Vino. Um, but we're, we're going to be giving them out, but Vino's paying for them. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's what it, He also sent me a project game, a test game, that we can use for giveaways. I don't know how it works. We haven't looked at it yet. Um, I guess we should probably download and look at that project at some point. Remind me uh, later on in like 30 minutes or mm -hmm. so to, to do it, and then we'll do every 30 minutes. We'll start minutes. to do some giveaway. Yeah, we'll do we'll do one 30 mi minutes in, and then uh, an hour in, and then whenever we end. And okay. if we're going to end in an hour, then we'll just do two. Oh, guys, now you know. Be ready. Yep. Be ready for those giveaways. All right, so let's see who's here. Vino, thank you so much for being here. Frank Weber, how you doing? Nat, you're going to see it. We're going to show it off today. Hello, a lost soul stone. Warp Enigma, hello, hello, my dude. <laughs> Vero Claw 23 good to see you. Little pie there. Warlock, I'm trying a new game making things. Yeah, uh, this is, we're, we're specifically looking at this um, because I know I'm going to use it a lot in the future. I played around with the animation editor inside of RPG Maker engines for so long, and I got really good with it, but um, now we have a new way to do animation, so it's like, screw what you know, let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's learn a new thing. This is, not, this is not uncommon. I'm used to this. Anytime you, you work on a project, you have to learn new libraries, yeah. and, and then, you, then halfway through the project, you scrap the library, and you use a different API, and like, that's, this is fine. So what we're going to do is go through the process of learning a new thing. Luckily, this software is really freaking awesome. I took a look at it for the first time last night, and I made my first animation animation in effects here it wasn't great but uh, and <laughs> i ran out of time what are you talking but about but it was an army of heralds wait let me load it i'll just load it is it is this one this is the one no this is not it um so let me open the one i made last night uh, custom made rainbow army of herald and bang so there's our rainbow army of herald for some reason it, it uh got rid of the rainbowness Hmm, maybe when I saved it, it didn't, uh, at that point, I didn't have um, something. Like I said, um, I, we're going to be learning this. So Yeah, I'm reading the documentation right now, actually. That's why I just went, oh, mm. because I read something cool. Where can you buy it? On Steam? In fact, no, it's free to download. Let's put a link to that in the did description. You notice, did you notice that when you went from tab to tab and changed some stuff, sometimes your animation would go wonky? No. Well, it did for me. Apparently, if you do this and your animation goes wonky and you need to reset it to your settings, like refresh it, you go up to window and hit reset window position. And hey. it'll, it'll it'll make it right again. Okay. Good I to know. No I noticed that yesterday a couple times. It just went back to like the basic first setting. And uh -huh. I was like, what? Did it just revert all my settings? But it, you just go up to the window and hit reset window and it'll fix it. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> That's good to know. That's good to know. Uh -huh. Is the music too loud? Uh, let me know. Interesting, you're using default music as your background music. Yeah, yeah. Let me bring it down just a little bit. Oh, I think, did you add the star background to that? I did, yeah. yeah. Nobody, uh, nobody's said anything yet about it, but I'm still catching up on chat before I really jump into it. Find me a link to the download, please, while I'm reading the okay. chat. Yes, you guys are going to get a link right now to the download. So that, I'll put it in the description as well. Oh. See, it's free to download. It's not complicated, but it it is very powerful. It you know if you look at it at first, you're like I don't what I don't but it's but way trust me, easier than it looks. I've looked at a lot of different tools like this, and a lot of them are confusing. This one is not that complicated, no. but it can be if you want it to get really really complex. It can be, but just to make something happen, it's not that hard. And and I'm still learning, but we're gonna learn together. And it's actually really easy to use. Luckily, it's got a lot of features I think due to its open source nature if you had <laughs> you like said doo -doo. <laughs> due to <laughs> I said due to but do do you <laughs> no you 
Vansex, thank you for the $5 super chat. He says, giving you guys for the great stream, giving to you guys for the great stream yesterday and giving away copies of MV to those in need. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, we gave away three copies of RPG Maker MV yesterday. Uh, if you don't know, it's on sale 80% off right now. You might want to pick it up. It's only on sale on Steam, so you have to get it through Steam uh, if you want that steep discount. But I've never seen it this cheap. And um, it probably won't go any cheaper than that ever. So you might as well pick it up now yeah. for 16 bucks or whatever it, it is. Get it. Yeah, if Yesterday, you can afford it. Yesterday, one of, one of the people was a high school student, didn't have money of her own, and the other one was from Brazil, and the, the exchange rate is very different down there. It's so. just tough. Even if you have yeah. money in Brazil, it's like, well, U.S. dollar doesn't convert very well. Right. And just like, it's, it's so extremely expensive. <laughs> Even at 80% off. So, we're right. like, well, you know, it's not really a ton of money to us. So, uh, you know, get the engine, have fun with it, make a cool game, and maybe, you know, you'll inspire the next generation or something. I don't know. But, yeah. Thank you, Vansex. We appreciate it. We're going to be giving, doing some more giveaways today, too, but not of the engine. We, we did that yesterday. We're going to do some Discord um, super... Not, uh, Discord uh, Nitro... <laughs> I'm like Discord, Discord Super, Super <laughs> plus X d plus plus. <laughs> um, did I get a? We got a link. Okay, copy this yeah, link. We got a link. Let me copy this link and edit the stream so that if anyone comes in uh, or refreshes, uh, hold up. Wow, really? It's that entire thing. Event. Oh no no no! Undo. It must not have. It didn't copy to my clipboard properly you know what I'll just search it mm -hmm. download effect see ya. literally that's all you got to do and you get it and then here's the download let's copy this and then back to live streaming we'll put that at the top now it looks right let me just save this okay so anybody coming into the stream will see it at the very top where to download the software for free. And if you refresh, you'll see it there as well. But it's in the chat, so you don't actually have to refresh if you don't want to. Um, until our ISB kicks us, which will inevitably happen because the Spectrum is all we have. Oh, Spectrum. <clears throat> and we're getting down... I might be stuck with MV... Smooth Boy 06. Well, that's okay. A lot of people were still using VXAs for a long time before they got MV. Uh, uh, Major Nat Majora Wolf 29 says, "Interesting, you're using default music background." Oh, I thought it was going to say something else. Uh, yours came with star background minus all the back. No, it didn't come with star background. In fact, I can show you how to do that right now. As soon as I catch up on the chat. Thank you, T. Here's the link. Thank you for the super chat, Vance X. Vino with the lightning bolt. Uh, Nat says, recently started fifth playthrough of Ease. Wow, okay. <laughs> you must really love that series, Nat. Uh, I don't <laughs> know that background music name, but I know it's... I know it. I call it Gan Flies background music. It's the RPG Maker MV default um, music, and I love it. I've always loved it, except I got tired of hearing it in everyone's game. <clears throat> but... It's free to use, and, and it's relevant to our audience and recognizable. So why not just make a playlist of RPG music to play in the background of our streams? I think it fits, mm -hmm. and it's appropriate. I should have done it sooner. So, yeah. Uh, did you all see the video from Yanfly today? Yes, let's talk about that for a minute. So TLDR, Yanfly is coming back, but not exactly the way you think. Yanfly said in his own video today that... He does plan to come back to take a mentor position uh, on a team. I guess he's been assimilated by Vigia Stella, which is Arkea's baby. Uh, it's Arkea's company thing. I think, well, I don't Arkea, know. If, Arkea and team. Arkea, Arkea and team. See, the, the representative of Vigia Stella that I know and talk is to Arkea. is Arkea. Absolutely. So I always just attribute it to her. But mm -hmm. she's part of the team that operates Vigia Stella. They make games, plugins, software, all kinds of stuff. Great great group of people. Um, and so uh, Yanfly has uh, graced graced us again on the... Thank you, Rant. Yeah, I just want to say thank you, Yanfly, for coming back in a mentor position. I think that's where you should be. You shouldn't be doing all the grunt work, but it's, it'll still end up being grunt work, I promise you. He knows this already. Because <laughs> mentoring is still doing a lot of coding to show, yeah. him how, show people how to really do it. Um, so apparently they're going to be looking for uh, suitable people to form their own uh, MZ coder team, and they will um, 
the the requirements that as far as I know is you have to be able to code in JS pretty well uh, sufficiently very decently but that's not it just knowing how to code is not enough to get you that position you also have to be passionate about RPG maker M MZ or RPG maker in general um, and and have plans to improve upon the plugins that already exist because I think the way Yanfly said it was um, if you don't plan to improve on the plugins, then people are still better off using MV, right? So, and that makes sense. So, it, it, he doesn't doesn't want just a photocopy with a few um, class name changes. He he wants an improvement upon these core plugins, and, and I see that you want your work to grow, and and and, uh, and I agree with him 100%. So we are going to have a, a paid team of programmers like converting Yanfly's plugins. Hey, I'm super stoked. So am That's I. That's amazing. It that is, is the best news I've heard all week. That's really awesome. That's amazing. Thank you, everyone involved, for, for agreeing to make that happen. How, they probably knew. They probably planned it a month ahead of time, a year ahead of time or something like that. Mm -hmm. But... um. We didn't know, and now we do, and thank you for letting us know about that. All right, so that's the deal with the Anfly. Let's move on uh, back to yeah, uh, effects here. Yeah, let's do a basic here. particle. Why don't you start from the beginning and just show how to move the box around and change its direction? Okay, I want to make that's sure... That's the basic, like, you get to understand how movement works, because when you're making a particle effect, you're going to have to layer <laughs> movement upon movement upon movement. You're just going to be layering these principles on top of each other, essentially. Right. Sure. Okay, so I like that idea. Let's go ahead and uh, close this. Oh, first of all, for, because I want to um, comment, the star background, mm -hmm. uh, everyone is not going to have this. This is a default RPG Maker MV asset that I just, just picked randomly. So if you click on Window after downloading the software, links in the description below at the top, um, free to use, free to download, free to commercial, etc. Go all the way down to Environment. Click on Window, go to Environment. And then you see you have these little transparent boxes, and you have options for background, you have options for lighting, and options for post uh, effects. So we can turn on bloom, and we can turn on tone mapping, and this program can do so it's much so cool. stuff. It's very, very feature rich. Uh, let's watch the intensity. Do you see how it just glows now? Right. So that's a bloom effect. That's cool. Mm hmm So for background, obviously, you just click on background, and you can select a color, or you can say background image, and then you can load an image. I just went into RPG Maker um, MV's assets. Since I own it, I'm able to use it and stuff. Right, um, and I'm going to assume since Effect Seeker is now an official, like, thing for RPG Maker that it can be used in Effect Seeker. I don't see any problem no, with, with doing problem this. No, I don't see any with the licensing. So, trust me, it's fine. No one's going to give a crap. <laughs> Put any background you want in your, in your project. Um, whatever helps you, your work process. I didn't want a straight black background. I wanted just something, and mm -hmm. I found it. I'm like, let's pick something. So I'm going to change it just to show you. Um, Where did you, you get that little window? I missed that environment. Yeah, yeah. You click on window, and then you click on environment. Okay, all right. Uh-huh. Go cool. down. It's the rainbow-looking block. Up. Oh. There you go. Thank and you. then you have options for adding bloom and background and other things as well. And then you just pick a PNG. It's pretty simple, right? I'm just trying to find mine while I'm multitasking. And I'm going to go to Parallaxes and change my view with Control and Middle Mouse just to make it bigger. And you can literally put whatever you want for your background. Let's just do <laughs> this right now. This was a picture that Piggy made for me. That's cool. <laughs> Not quite as uh, the effect... As it's, good of effect as the loud. Yeah, yeah, as the star background. You probably want something a little a little more chill. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> let's go with a uh, the starry night worked out really well, but let's see how it looks on water. Bang. Why not, right? Mm, it's a little bright. I think picking one solid color would be my best option here. Um, something that's like maybe not solid, but like mostly dark or mostly bright. Dark would make more sense. When I just scanned through this last night, I'm like, oh, okay, Starlet Sky, that works. Let's move on. What else can I do? And so I kind of want to just it's go a back good to pick, the, yeah. I'm going to go back to it because it just works the best for me. It's a good contrast. And while I was in here, I added a little bloom to it. Why not? Let's just <laughs> set the intensity of bloom to two. 
just to have a little bit of bloom. And then we can close it. Really, really cool. I'm gonna try to keep up on chat. Any specific questions you have, I'm not saying I know how to do figure it out, but I, I am interested to see what you wanna know how to do. So if you have questions, let me know. I'm gonna create a new one ooh, pretty ooh, soon ooh. once I, I catch up. I figured out something cool. Open What's that, that window up again, I wanna show you. The environment window? Yeah, it doesn't matter actually. Take it and drag it in between these tabs. Now, dro oh no, put it back. Oh, drop it. Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we could do that yesterday. That's so cool. So, so you can, you can take it out windows. too. Yeah. So you can left click and drag all of these windows out if you want to. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And they just, they pop I love out. It. I'm putting all the windows Or <laughs> you can put them back. Just put them in between a tab in any form and way you want to do. Um, I don't really care to go through these tabs as much. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this like this and make it kind of small because what I'm going to do instead is just click on window and have a full word description instead of just an icon and I've got to remember what box that is since I'm going to be telling giving instructions uh, I'm going to use window to know what icon until I can uh, learn it more and associate like this little rainbow as the environment box etc etc I'm going to use this little window t um, uh, panel a lot so let's 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 start a new Let's start a new one, right? Let's I'm, get rid I'm of putting, her. I'm putting all the windows on the quick bar because sure. that's the way I want my life. If that's the way you want it to be, that's the way you want to be. <laughs> uh, do I want to save the changes? Yeah, let's save the changes. Um, I'll go over saving too because that's one thing that I want to talk about is the prod the difference between um, EFK EFC and EFK PROJ and EFC files. No, EF EFK files. There is no just EFC. See, I'm still learning. Nat says, yep, the E-series is good and she enjoys it quite a lot. Little Pi says, I recently found this game making software called GB Studio that I was wondering if maybe you might be able to make a video on it. You don't have to, it just doesn't hurt to ask. GB Studio? Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I'll just put it in a Google tab, GB Studio, and I'll look at it later, huh? How about that? I'll oh, keep no. it up so after the stream I'll be like, what was this that they recommended? You can't fit them all in. You you can't, You like, there's like three left, and there's not enough room. Maybe if, can I move this over? <gasps> Never mind, you can fit them all in. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, but you lose real estate when I you're looking care. at your... I don't care, I want all my little tabbies. Yeah, all right, yeah, you do it. I'm going to be more graphical with it. <laughs> Less, less spreadsheet, more show me flashy shinies. Uh, Veroclaw says, I said it on the forum, I think it might be better because those plugins will have the high standard of Yanfly coding and since there are going to be more coders, that means faster and more plugins. I'm very happy. Also, plugins are going to be converted to MZ. Yeah, me too, Veroclaw. I'm, this is great news. Thank you, Yanfly, for at least uh, just saying that you're going to help the next generation further. You've already done so much and we appreciate you. I second that. Uh, Smooth Boy says, Yanfly has become a phoenix. He's gone out, but sometime later he, he rises from the ashes. What's that? I know, but I gotta catch up on chat because it is a live stream, honey. We're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna, I know that, it doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, a while ago on one of the localization Teach me more teams. more fact seeker. I said this right at the beginning. I said this is not a tutorial. This no. is like I'm going to learn, and you're going to learn with me if you want to, and we're going to have questions and discussion. I'm not going to just ignore the chat and then <laughs> flounder on at this thing. I don't think Effects uh, Seer has an official MZ license. I think it's more of a thing of, eh, who cares as long as you don't claim that it's your image. That you no, Matt, uh, Nat, this is an MIT license. This is an open source project. I believe it's an MIT license, isn't it? I don't know, but I know all the samples that they have on the website are CCO, which means you can use them. Yeah. You don't have to credit, but please credit the yeah. creator. Just, I mean, it's just good manners to credit the uh -huh. creator. Right. But if so, you forget, you won't get sued for it. Right. Uh, you can you can use it in any way you want, and so it's an open source project. That means a lot of people have worked on it, and they're not trying to get any money on it. They just want to improve this tool so that. Um, everyone can have a better tool because there are paid versions of software like this but you know you don't have to pay for it this is a good one so can we start did you see the person in the reveal thread that said you can also add a background warp to animations yes 
how do you make a tornado effect? You bring in the tornado and you animate it across. <laughs> we'll, we don't know how to make we're gonna a tornado get there. Effect, yeah, effect yet. Actually, okay. I, was, I was thinking about that yesterday. The rotation is going to be an interesting thing mm -hmm. to learn. Merry Man Gaming, how you doing? Phantom Baphomet. If Yan flies here, thanks. Hey, I'm probably going to be AFK. No problem, Phantom. Thanks for tuning in. Join the Discord today. Hey, Merry Man Gaming. Thank you. Okay, I caught up on the chat. So... I just want to mention before we get into like trying to put images in, in or whatever, uh -huh. this program works without images. You can modify the, the starting particle, but as you see, do you see anything there in the middle? No. There's nothing there. Right. If you want to see the starting particle, just hit the play button. Mm -hmm. Bam! There it is. And then you can modify this in a lot of different ways. Like Just to show how it's modifiable, go up to this tab right here, this um, little blue cross thingy. This is the position tab. Whoa, why don't you, you have to select oh, the yeah, node. Oh, yeah, you have to hit node. Because so, this is a node base. We right, haven't really right. got there yet. We're not talking about this but yet. Select this drop down uh -huh. and hit PVA. And this right. is, um, I can't remember what the P is, but velocity and acceleration. Mm -hmm. position. And just change the position to one here, this X position. Mm -hmm. just, just one, one? Just, uh, yeah, one. There you go. And see how the little box changes? That is like the fundamental basic thing. This is a little, little particle. You can do a ton of things with this little particle. You can multiply it. You can change the shape of it. But generally, you're probably going to want to use images. But this is just very bare bones basic. If you want to play with the engine and know how it works, you can use this little particle to play with. Right. So if we wanted it to be to animate it, you're like, okay, we have a particle. Why isn't it moving? Well, it needs to have a speed. Right. Just like in GMS2, if any of you have watched any of those tutorials, you you're, you need a direction and a speed. So this thing also needs a direction and a speed. So it's given a default direction, um, and we the default values are all set to zero. Fifty dollar super chat from Corey Davis. What's up, Corey? How you doing today, my dude? I was messing with the particle stuff, and to a degree, use it in MV. I've been messing with them in some of my SV enemies. I hope that the Yanfly team doesn't pull an RPG maker and take out some of the things that we can do with the plugins right now. Oh, well, for sure, Corey, none of the plugins that um, are designed for MV are going to work in MZ until they are ported, ported over. over. They need to be rewritten. Class names right. probably changed. It causes a lot of things to say undefined. But Yanfly released a video today saying he is going to fund that. Absolutely. Yanfly yeah. has already said that he's, you know, they have this money that they made on the Patreon. It's going to pay the team to write the conversion, you know, to, to, to copy, paste, and change, basically, the plugins. Uh, so that not only do they um, do they work in MZ, but they will be improved upon. That's the idea. So um, we're gonna like we're gonna go from MV with hundreds or thousands of plugins to MZ with a few, and then within trust me, within a few days and a weeks, we're gonna have hundreds of plugins, mm -hmm. and, and they will be converted lickety split by people who just passionately want them. Thank you again, Corey Davis, fifty dollars super chat. Appreciate it, my dude. So yeah. let's get this particle moving. All we have to do is give it a speed. So let's give it an X speed of, I don't know, one. And and then um, one thing I want to point out is right here is like your timeline. And if any of you have done any like video editing or anything like that, you'll be thinking, okay, so you do this with keyframes. Or if you've done spine editing or something like skeleton editing, you'll be thinking, okay, so you set keyframes and then it tweens. No, nope, it doesn't. It, it actually runs some kind of algorithm that causes it to just... Um, it, it's like a physics engine, kind of. So at, at the bottom, this is where you're going. To, the frame you're going to start on, and then this is the max number of frames. Keep in mind it's based 60 FPS. So 120 frames is going to be a two-second animation. So if we wanted a five-second animation, we would do 60 times five, <laughs> and boom, and we have 300 Guess frames here. right there. Forge ahead. My left ear loves this face. Hey, hey, it's this guy. <laughs> this guy's been a long time lurker. <laughs> he's he's the 2015 viewer from uh, from my videos when when my audio sounded it was just like this and everything is in one ear and you could barely hear what I'm saying and the music was like super duper loud and my audio <laughs> quality was shit and my studio was all awful and yeah and my videos were hella cringe even more so than today. And uh, he's, back then, I used to get comments saying, um, my left ear loved the video, but yeah. my right ear feels lonely or something like that, because all the audio was in one speaker. That's an inside joke, and now you guys know it. He's uh, appeared. Hey, Forge, how you doing? Welcome back. 
and he's uh, he's brought the inside jokes with him. So we've we've decided to make this a five second animation. That's a long, long animation. Maybe we just go to three second, huh? Let's go in here, double click, put in 180, hit enter. Now we've got a three second animation, but all we've done uh, it was is say start at the uh, um, position of one, which we're not. We're gonna start at zero mm -hmm. and and move towards the right. Um, so let's say, uh, and, and the numbers signify how many um, cells or positions it's going to move per frame. So you might want not want to go in whole numbers, you might want to use float values like 0 0.05. And then you can give multiple, here's the thing, in physics it's impossible to have a speed of uh, x and y be different because you, your, your velocity, your speed is one speed. So your speed will match. This is your phone going like crazy. Mm -hmm. It might be, uh, you might need to take it. Not you might one. need to. No, not this one. Okay. I'd recognize the number. All right, because there is a call. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, anyway, but what I'm saying is, if I change either X, Y, or Z on the speed, it's, it should and it probably will just change all of them, right? Didn't seem to do that, but let's play. You have to have uh, the same number, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fill in X, Y, Z, but right. if you do, they all have to be the same, I've noticed. Right, so if I put one right here, it doesn't, it, it work. doesn't work, right? Yeah. You get pretty, it'll, it'll, it seems like it just took the Y, whatever's the biggest one, it seems to just take that. Is it? Is Because it, it can't go in two different directions at two different speeds, it's just not, that's not a thing. See, now both are working. So if you don't put both in, it's just it looks like it's just gonna take your highest number and go with that. Let's do 0 0.25. These can be changed. The, zero point, the I think we have it back on Sunny. 0 0.25. You need more than one particle to see the deviation, though. Yeah. Because what the deviation does is it takes your direction and just changes it a little randomly based on each particle that comes out. So it'll make it, instead of just going in one direction, it like blooms from the center point. So on our basic settings, um, Let's increase this, the number of particles to 10. I'm gonna click infinite so it just sprays right now. So we're spraying particles out just to look at our direction. That'll give us a better. And this is a three second animation. Let's, I actually liked the, the five second. That's so cool. now, we're, now we're just spraying particles in a position that we decided uh, to go. So here's our rotation, PVA, and we can go here to give it Oh, you're gonna start spinning it? This is something I'd like to see happening. Yeah. You got different numbers here. There we go. Doesn't it, isn't it? Now it's doing it, it's like wagging back and forth. Isn't it supposed to lock them like, you know, I think remember? it just prioritizes the highest number. It's so just gonna go the highest? I think so, that's what I saw it do in the last screen. It's what it looks like to me, I could be wrong though. We're just learning this together, so. Right. But if you add a deviation to this, it should give it some some uh, rotation. You know, this is cool. Um, we're, we're animating particles, but let's go and make it so that we're animating heralds instead. Uh, Acost soulstone, no, it, or a lost soulstone. It will soulstone. not because. It has Ask a the set, question first. Uh, it says, oh gosh, dumb question. If we hit infinite in the program, when we save it, will it still work in MZ or spam particles in the game? Infinite? Nah. No, it, because the, the animation has a lifespan. Mm -hmm. So once that lifespan is up, it's done. It's terminated. It won't just keep on spawning particles forever and ever and ever. You set the lifespan actually right here. See, Drifty has it set to 300 frames. You can set it to whatever you want. Can you show <clears throat> the lifespan? I, I, this isn't the lifespan. This is the this is the duration of this is how many frames well, that's what of I'm saying, the animation. The lifespan of the entire effect. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. Yeah. So you set the amount of time that the effect plays, and once that time is up, it's all of your terminated. particles go away. Yeah. Yeah. If you even if you're watching, you see they all disappear after five seconds. Boom, they're gone, and it yeah. starts over. So when you pull in, when even if you're using infinite, when you um when you call that animation effect in battle or whatever whenever you call it inside of MZ, it will play for the number of frames that it was designed to do, and it will then permanently uh, destroy that object. Right. Good so question. You're all good. You can yeah, use infinite all you'd question. like. Unless you set the time to infinite, too, and then you have a problem. <laughs> no, you're still limited by the duration. That's what I'm saying. If you set that up to this like, can't really, be infinite. really high. No, no. It would have to be... 
I, I wonder, like, what, what's the limit? How far could we push it? If we had it going for 10 minutes on infinite okay. particles, could you crash MV? Or MZ? <sighs> I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> this is 5 seconds, 50 seconds. Seems to be fine. 500 seconds. It seems to be fine. Yeah. 5 thousand seconds what I'm hearing on seems to be fine the forums is that this is really lightweight 50,000 seconds see now I'm sure though if you had enough of these playing long enough at the same time you would get a memory issue like just would based you? on based on the machine that is is playing it I don't know it depends on the garbage collection yeah that's true does it clean up after itself mmm but look at the limit. It's uh, I'm not, it doesn't need to go any farther. Dang, that's yeah, that's cool. I love it. It's a great system. Mm -hmm. Want to see <laughs> you save that fifty thousand seconds file? <laughs> yeah, the file size might be massive. In fact, it might be such a large file that it would take a long time to load. Right. But the idea behind this is before it used PNGs to load directly into the engine and that's massive that, yeah. that's a huge file yeah. um, PNGs are, are big files so if you can turn it into a more optimized version uh, you can load a lot more flashy stuff and it looks better and it's lightweight and it's more optimized so it's definitely a step in the right direction mm -hmm. I say five dollar super chat from Vino saying touch fuzzy did some tests with major animations without issues and people are sending him files of elaborate animations to test in MZ. So we'll know. That's good. We'll know soon. Awesome. Good to know. Thank you for the super chats. So, yeah, I was getting on to let's change the... Um, instead of using a box, like a built-in little pixel thingy, let's change the that to be a be sprite. Here, right here. Basic, wouldn't it? Is right it no? Here. It's in render settings. Yep, and then you load here. Mm -hmm. Texture load. So we're gonna load a texture to play as our particle. I'm gonna use uh, temporary. I made. A, oh no, I know where I put it. I want to use Harold. Because this is his last hurrah, okay? He's about to be phased out. <laughs> yeah. We're, we Harold. need to we need to celebrate the life of Harold. Poor, poor <laughs> because Harold. Reed is replacing him. So let's go to uh, my 580G game where I've made some some uh, special special stuff. The punching Harold, bang! So now, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> poor Harold. I love it. He's we're getting thrown off into space. We're spraying Harolds into the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Long live awesome. Harold. Oh, and for those of you wondering, I'm using the middle mouse. Like for for those of you wondering how to uh, manipulate the 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 screen, I'm using the right mouse click to rotate and move and what is it called? Yeah, rotate, rotate to rotate and, zoom. and and no to zoom. I'm using the middle mouse button, right. scrolling in. You you did keep it, saying middle mouse, you know. <laughs> yeah. And so middle mouse zooms in. Yeah. You, if you click and hold, middle mouse moves the entire plane around. So this is changing the position. Yeah. The middle mouse scrolling changes the zoom. The right click changes the rotation yeah. and orientation. That's so cool. Yeah, and so we're spraying an infinite number of heralds out into space the way it should be. This, this is, is the an way awesome it. program. I'm super psyched because I really, to be honest, Drifty really loved the old animation tab. Yeah, but this but, is way better, I admit. Yeah, like, I really didn't love the old animation ta tab. I thought it was clunky and here's, tedious. Here's this the thing. is not clunky and tedious. Here's the thing. When you spend countless hours learning how to do something... You, you get fond of it. You develop a bias. Yeah, you so do. So I, quote-unquote, liked it just because I knew how to do everything right. at a good speed. But this is better. This is hands... This is, this is like, no objection, way way better way better yes. yes i'm excited i'm excited i will actually want to make animations with this i didn't want to i, I would use animations with the old one for cutscenes. that's it Corey davis you cannot put this in mv no wait a minute actually there is a way to put it in mv but we don't know how but in mz it's going to be native so you just yes. add the files so Corey, the idea is we're learning this for the next engine that yeah. we don't have yet because it's not available right but we need to. I, I want to know how to use it so that I can put together a bunch of custom animations for my games. Mm -hmm. 
And so maybe there's a way to put it in MV. I have no freaking clue. Maybe in the future there'll be. I know for sure you can put it into uh, MZ uh, just very easily. Like click the button, load the EFK right. file, and then it's right. in there. You change the rotation inside the engine. I saw the button. Let's see what time is it. It is time to it's do a giveaway. Time. All right, so I have to download this game so real quick. So for MV, if, if I understand correctly, this software is able to export your animations that you make into a 2D sprite sheet. So in order to put it into MV, you would have to export it as a 2D sprite sheet and then format it in the same format that MV uses. You can absolutely use this in MV, but it's a lot more work. It's going to take some work on GIMP, and um, it won't be nearly as straightforward as for MZ. I should have downloaded this before the stream. I don't know why I did not. Oh no. <laughs> We're downloading our amazing super secret weapon that Vino made for us for contest time because it's contest time. Who wants some nitro? Let's get some Let's Discord get nitro. Man. It's downloading. Hold on. <laughs> Good thing huh. you have a fast computer. Well, this download speed doesn't affect this, the computer speed. The download speed is our internet service provider. You know that. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't listening. Oh gosh, <laughs> you, you just sounded like you didn't know how computers operate. No, I just I was I, reading comments. I know, okay? but you shouldn't have said. Mm -hmm, I then. know it's automatic. This is what happens. This is what you, happens This all is the what time. happens when you're born with attention deficit disorder. Mm -hmm. You learn that you get in less trouble if you just shake your head and say yes. It doesn't work for me. All you do is piss me off. <laughs> I'd rather you just ignore me and then and then be like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, because because well, then I'm like uh, having a conversation who's someone who's not even interested or like. Not, not paying, paying attention, attention at, all. at all, so yeah. I'm wasting my breath, completely, and it's just frustrating. Completely checked out. Mm -hmm. But this is, I'm getting used to it. You know, it happens. What am I doing again? Uh, I'm creating a project. Yes. MV. RPG Maker, let's put it in MV, because it is an MV game. We're going to call this one Vino's Random... No, Vino's Contest Machine. <laughs> Paste it I know I'm excited. I, I don't know other people, what they're on about complaining and stuff. See, the thing is, is so many people complained before they even knew what was in it. They're like, it's not worth it. How do you know it's not worth it? How do you know? It? You haven't if even, you even seen even the price. You don't know. Yeah. What... You're just mad that you don't know what's in it. That's all. Could be a sour. <laughs> people are going to find a thing to complain over no matter what. And, and, you know, sometimes a lot of the complaints were valid complaints. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not discrediting them. I'm just No, saying. I'm talking about the ones that were like, it's not worth my money. How do you know? You don't even know what's in it. Come on. <laughs> Let's pause this music because I'm pretty sure Vino put music inside the contest machine. Let's see if Vino set the sound settings. Oh, my gosh. Let me. Did you do that? Oh, my God. Why? 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 Oh. Six. No, it's not. Oh. You don't have your headphones on. <laughs> no, I don't have my headphones on. I, I just, I, I knew that was going to happen. I gave someone a <laughs> Theme 6 Max. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Driftwood Gaming Contest Machine. Uh, get hyped. Look at this. Uh, e epic game. <laughs> I made a shitty little um, script call <laughs> to just roll a random number from 1 to 100. But this is a much better way to do it. So I have never looked at this project yet. I just downloaded it. But Vino assures me that it's it's easy. And, um, <laughs> and and I shouldn't have any problems learning how to use it. Options. Full screen. You know, for future reference. Let's just do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. And now I can uh, not have to worry about doing this. Little. That's probably good. Let me know if the music's crazy or too quiet. Oh my gosh, look at your look at your icon up here. I just gotta point that out. That's wicked cool, you know? It's spinning the wrong direction, but it doesn't matter. I, I still think it looks awesome. Oh wow. It doesn't matter, wow. Vino. It doesn't matter that it's spinning the wrong wow. direction. <laughs> <laughs> you need negative rotation here, bro. <laughs> Alright, start. Get high! I can't spin it the other direction. See? So sad. Look he oh, used your no. <gasps> Oh yeah, wow, that's, that's an old That's us. I made right. those. Yeah. I mean, I edited those from MV sprites, obviously. But okay. I, I did the editing. Why is it so smoky in here? We get it, you vape, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I say to the thunderclouds every time they come by. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, this is when I thought I was gonna actually do my own spriting for my game until I realized I hate spriting. <laughs> this is a warping it, bro. You, Vino, you're awesome. No matter what Drifty says, what? Vino is awesome. <laughs> yeah, Vino, you're awesome. We all love you. Start a new contest or start a party. Whoa. Oh, oh my God. hell yeah. We have to start that party, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Vino, this shit's awesome, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right, start the contest. I can't. I'm partying right start now. Start the damn contest. This is too, look at the lights. I know, it's so cool. The lighting engine. I love this fog, too. Is this the music? Cost? The music. All right, Beautiful. hold on. All right, let's do a contest. Start a new contest giveaway. A new contest is on the horizon. Begin the festivities. Enter the names of the participants, then talk to T to choose the winners. You can have up to 50 participants maximum. You can choose multiple winners if desired. Begin. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, he, Drift is the one who complains about me ignoring him, but he does plenty of the ignoring himself. Did you say too. something right now? <laughs> Cho choose the names of the first two contestants. I don't know. They asked me why I got a divorce, and uh, they something about my wife not listening. I don't. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no, I've never been divorced. Uh, type in the characters' names. All right, Drifty. Let's, let's. Oh wait, no. No, wait. I'm not gonna win. I already have Nitro. You have to win everything. This, this is a contest. That is being sponsored by Vino in a game made by Vino. We're just hosting it. And Vino uh, is giving away three D uh, Discord Nitro one month subscriptions. So if you want a Discord Nitro, you have say to me. say me. You have, yeah, you have to say me. A, a, a word. So type in me. That's an M or an E. Doesn't mean if it's capitals, doesn't matter. Type in the word me. Now, Nat, I already got you. Echo Teco, I see you there. Oh, hi. Yeah, anybody who has already said that recently. So type in the word me, and we're going to start adding names. So yes. uh, let's type in Nat, because this is Majora Wolf, Nat. Yeah. It's just easy on me to do that. Type in a character's name. Echo Teco. Uh, the next person was Little. Wait. No, Echo Teco. Listen, I'm looking at the damn chat. Echo Teco. <laughs> then it's Elv Games. Okay, add another participant. Uh, ELV Games. Smoothie Boy. Hmm, can I enter to win? Hell yeah, Corey Davis. So you're saying who? Smoothie Boy. Smoothie Boy. Vero Claw. Vero Claw. Douglas. A Lost. Smo. What? Smo. S M O. Okay. Ren Phoenix. Ren. <laughs> Little Pie says I'm scared. Um, if you ever use Discord, say me. Corey Davis. I flippin' love this it so, is so cool. much. Anybody else? Come on, jump on. <laughs> say me if you want to win Discord Nitro for a month. Say me. Say me. Say me. Seriously, Vino, when when I have my when I when I have my real game studio set up. You have a job. <laughs> you are hired. I just don't have the money yet. Of course, if you want it. We won't make you do slave labor or anything like that. Like that one game we played where it was like, um, they ran into the chick and they're like, we're going to keep her. What? <laughs> the what game, game? Uh, where she became a sex slave. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It's like, we're not going to ask She's you like, if you want to work for us. I'm not. Okay, I'll work there. <laughs> What does the contest games need to be? What does the contest games? What? No, 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 no. You just no, say no. me if you want Nitro. Do you, do you want, want Nitro? Yes, say me. Do you That's, want a Discord simple. Nitro subscription? Yep. Uh, for free. So is it Ellen? Are you in Ellen? Let's see. Hold on. Was this all made in MV? This was made in MV, Let's yes. Let's give a time limit in the next two minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's a good me. idea. In the next two minutes, once it's... That's it. You got, you got less than two minutes now. Yeah. And then Clock we're going to get this show rolling. Do you have Veraclaw? You already put Veraclaw in. Uh-huh. Right? And it shows. Look over here. Look at this. Oh, yep. Cool. We got That's Nat, awesome. Echo Teco, ELV Games, Smooth Boy, Vero Claw, Douglas, Alost, Smo, Rand, Little Pie, Corey Davis. Uh, Ellen's like, nah, I don't really care. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> you just, the only down, uh, the only requirement, not really a downside. Yeah, time, Vino, what happens if you duplicate uh, a name? Do you have a redundancy? Mm, Did you write in a redundancy for that? Mmm. It, I, I, mm. I'm just curious. Yeah, we'll Vino, just... Vino like thinks of everything, so I'm not going to be surprised if he says yes. This is what happens. Mm. Well, either way, we'll do our best not to put in a duplicate name. Right. Like, I'm glad it actually shows them what you've already put in. That's fantastic. It is fantastic. <laughs> Vero Claw, come on, man. So you have to be on our <laughs> Discord to get this subscription. You got to at least join us for that. <laughs> 
but you should anyway. We have like 500 plus people online uh, every day. We have thousands of members. Okay, we got one minute. One minute. If you want Discord, Discord Nitro on Driftwood Gaming's Discord, say me. It, uh, Vino says no. You can repick the winners if a bad selection comes up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. Okay. We got Vero Claw, and this is your last chance in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, press escape to use the keyboard. Uh, if I already typed and I press cancel, what happens? It forces me to pick, pick a name. Uh, so I guess I shouldn't go to this until I have another name, but we've oh, wait, learned- wait, wait, human. Okay, good, there we go, human, we needed you. <laughs> I typed in me, because I'm smart. Okay, human's in it. All right, time's up, all right. No, we put you in human. Put, put in a do, blank name. If you miss this time, don't feel bad. We got two yeah. more giveaways coming yeah. up on the stream. So Yeah. Okay, hold on. Are you sure everyone is listed last call? Yes. Yes. And, and you talk. Winner. We have our 12 lucky participants. Talk, talk to, to T for the results. Dun 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 The winner is I bet I picked the best winner in history. Choose me one winner to rule them all. Choose me two winners, a king and queen. Choose me three winners, participation <laughs> trophies for all. I love it. One winner. We're to gonna rule do them one, all. but then we're gonna do another one, and another one. Another one. Another one. Bam! Who's the winner? We might just do two at the end. I oh, think... and if you entered this time, you can enter the next time if you didn't win. Smo! Smo! Congratulations! The winner is Smo. You win a. This is way better than my this pick a number oh, <laughs> one yes. to a hundred bullshit. Is awesome. This yes, is fantastic, Vino. It's awesome. Yeah, he's like, Vino made this, didn't he? <laughs> hey, Zora, how are you doing? You just missed the contest, but don't worry. We're going to do another contest. Instead, let's just do one more contest, but we'll do two winners okay. from at the, at the yeah, end. Yeah, at okay. the end of the stream, we'll do another contest. If you entered this time and didn't win, you can enter in the second one. Yeah. And we will give away two more mm -hmm. so, nitro nitros. So to claim your prize, Smo, just send Vino a message. Right-click his name on Discord. I'll show you how to do that. You click in the link in the description below if you're not already a member of the Driftwood Gaming Discord. Um, you can click on, right here you'll see Vino. He's hiding right now. He's hiding, <laughs> he's, he's actually online because I know he's online, but it doesn't show his name. So how are they gonna message you Vino if you're, if you're on, offline uh, in Discord? Because he is a, he's a mod. There he is, now he's online. So you right click Vino's name and you click message. And then it will pop up over here, and then you can click over, over here if it doesn't automatically take you there, which it should. Just send him a message. He'll send you a link that you click on. It, it does not really a link. It's a button. And you click on the button, and then boom, Discord Nitro, 30-day subscription is, will be added. Vino, uh, thank you so much no for charge making this. You. It was thank awesome. Thank you, Vino. I love, I love this machine. I'm going to use it forever. <laughs> Vino just made an engine in an engine. He made a game contest engine, yeah. That's fantastic. It is so good. And he, he did it in a few hours so last night. So he used a game software to make an actual software. Mm -hmm. You know, that's uh, that's pretty cool, dude. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. So anyway, we're gonna do this, uh, we're gonna use this contest winner thing again. Uh, at the end of our stream, we're gonna pick two more winners, okay? So we'll close this for now. Congratulations, Smo. Congratulations, Smo, on winning. Boom. I love it. It's so good. In fact, this is such a good program. I'm going to immediately pin it and put it on my, my start menu right here. So this is, this is a, let's just create a shortcut. This is going to be Vino's, Vino's contest machine. Hell Beautiful. yeah, man. Gorgeous. We're going to put this again, right up here. Appreciate it, Vino. Bang. And we'll get some music playing. Sorry that you had to see my... My desktop. I know some of you just get triggered. See desktop. Back to back to spewing heralds into space. Yes. What are we doing? We're trying to rotate him. How do we rotate his spewage? Is that what we're doing? I, I, I thought so. It looked okay. like that's what you were trying to do. Well, but... let's go to rotation then. Yeah. Angular I think you have to add deviation. I'm pretty sure you have to add deviation. Well, let's look at this other stuff. A fixed angle. And you can say just spray at this angle. Uh-huh. And or we can say easing. Uh, whatever it, that is. Uh, oh, it like starts, fades in and out. Maybe. Easing in, slowest, oh. easing out, fastest. Ooh. And then let's just say one here, uh, two here, three here, and then uh, uh, zero, uh, point 0.5 here. Let's do 0.25 and 0.1. Let's just, I don't know what I'm doing, don't Smoothie ask me. Boy, yes, we uh, do. 
um, point three. This is how I learn stuff, guys. I change numbers around. Did it do anything? Oh yeah, it's changing stuff. Is it? Yep. Don't notice. It looks really cool. But go back to rotation. Humor me. Are right. you, um, I'm not done here yet. I don't want it to in, delete all my stuff. You're in rotation. Okay. Yeah, I'm in rotation, but it has a drop. What type of rotation well, do you want? I wanted you to go back to the first one you were on, because I wanted to try what, PBA? One yeah, PBA. Okay. Put in deviations right here. Put in a deviation. I want to see what happens there. Like 0. 0.5 or something. Oh, yeah. 100. Okay. That 100. Works. 100. There you go. Is it? Oh, oh, it is. Look at, look at. If what? you look from the top, it's rotating. It's corkscrewing. That's what I thought would happen. So maybe if you put like three or four, it'll be a bigger... A bigger corkscrew? What? Are you trying to do like a tornado? That yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. See, it's starting to come out like, like, like a circle, like a rotation. Yeah! <gasps> that's what I wanted to know. That's super cool. Now they're like spiraling out instead of just shooting Oh, out. right, right, they are. Yeah. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to really notice. I, you probably have to make it a lot bigger. Um, make it bigger. Let's do big numbers. <laughs> yeah. Big numbers, whole numbers. We're doing whole numbers now. And you know what? It would look better if you got rid of the deviation on the direction, on the speed. Because they'd all come out from the same point and they would spiral, you know? Right now they're just kind of flying out at different angles. If I, wait, what? If you go back to position uh -huh. and get rid of the deviation here, it'll probably look better. Blech. Oh wait, you got, uh, there's a thing. Go to the window. Go to window. It's doing the thing. It's bugging? Yeah, go to the window uh -huh. and hit reset window. What? No, that's because our setting, it's not bugging. Oh, okay. It's doing what we said. It's we said, we do said. go at this fix, at this angle, but don't deviate at all. Okay. All right. That's so you have said. to have deviation. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, you don't have to. Maybe you want a straight line. I wanted it to spiral. As so here's the out. thing. Let's let's keep this. Let's go with this, right? I, I want to try something. I want to make like a bolt, a beam, because inside of MV, it's incredibly hard to make a projectile. Right. I think Irina or Olivia, one of them, made a plug-in uh -huh. to make it, right? Um, but it, it's been really hard uh, in MV to make a projectile attack. Uh -huh. uh, so let's make a projectile of Harold. So obviously he's lasted. He lasts too long, right? We don't need third. Let's do. Let's let's make it 180. So just boom, starts over quickie. And we'll have this set up that way. Uh, I think I need to go to the settings and give it a, a, a lifetime. Um, so let's. Zora, by the way, this is called Effect Seeker, and it's going to be the animation editor for the next RPG Maker, which is called MZ. So we're learning it. We just started playing around with this last night. It's a free software. I will link it again. So if you want to grab it and follow along with us a little bit, you feel free. Hold up. We. Hey. <laughs> okay. Um, here's the link. Destroy with the parent? No. Um, spawn count. Infinite. Time to live. Maybe we do like a opacity. How do we set an opacity so that over time it becomes more see-through? Oh, fade in and fade out. Fade out. So I think it's this orange. Click the orange. Is it box. on scale? I think it's on this one. No, it's not. What on that render? One. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Yeah. I actually Enable remembered this. what I read this morning. It's okay. amazing. Frame count, fade in, and one. Um, you change, you, yeah, you just change the number. To, that's just it. I want to fade out. Okay. So enable the fade out. Let's say frame count. What does this do? You probably like, want we, more like, you want a higher number, because 15 doesn't really even do much. So you're probably going to want like 50. I would do 50. Oh, so they start to fade out right. over here. Yeah. So let's do 50. Yeah. They're starting to fade out. 100. <laughs> um, 500. There we go. A thousand. <laughs> it's fading out like Immediately. Right from the okay, hold on. Uh, 750. Nope. No. 600. We were at a good spot. Okay, there we go. Maybe the shoot speed is a little high too, like the speed that they're, they're leaving. Oh, okay, the, 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 I know what you're talking about. You so, go to position. Is it in position? Yep. And then the speed is right here. So I've been putting 0 0.05, and I think that's a really nice speed for me. Um, I can just do, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, let's zoom back in. Whoa, whoa, wrong button. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. <laughs> this is freaking cool. I love this toy. This is a good toy. I mean software. <laughs> Ellen Edwin says, Drifter Gaming, it's sad to see Harold and his friends go. They've created so many memes, defeated countless villains, and cried tears of success and sorrow together. Farewell to them all. Or is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll make cameos in plenty of games in the future. For sure, Jamie. Just message me on Discord and uh, with the Patreon stuff. And for those of you uh, who don't know, we do play first impression games and we um, will play your game on stream. Uh, that's a reward tier on our Patreon. Check that out, it's the $20 tier. Let's, uh, oh, this is this is the um, acceleration, but maybe we decrease the um, spawn speed, the spawn mm -hmm. rate. So let's find that spawn count. Um, spawn rate right here. Spawn rate. There we go. So let's go uh, 0 0.05 on that. Wow. With the deviation of 0 0.05. You made it faster. You got to go to like Point. 5. Point zero 0.01. One. You made and it. then spawn rate 2. Yeah. No, that's no. causing it. It's not, not direction, honey. Zero, zero 0.05. Oh, okay. What is happening? <laughs> What's my zone? Let me look at my thing. I got a cool spawn right over here. Mine's set to two. You need to make it bigger if you want the arrows uh, okay. to be more spaced apart. So like do 20 and see what happens. Okay, all right. So yeah. this is, okay, this is, this is a delay. Spawn yeah. rate, the higher the number, the lower the spawn rate. Right. That's why it confused me. Yeah. So this is, this is saying spawn one every 10 frames. I get that. And that is actually the way I want it. That'll mm -hmm. be great. Let's actually do 16. That would be... Boom, 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 boom. Higher number for spawn rate. Got it. Yeah, there's a little delay of lost. Now, how do we make them come out like a corkscrew? That's what I want to know. You want them to, like, spin out yeah, like a corkscrew? Yeah, I want them to spin out. Okay. <laughs> drift. The real meaning of drift when gaming <laughs> is spin out. Okay, so let's, uh... Read the Shadow Legend. No, that's going to be the name of my game. <laughs> Everyone, there's going to be like 25 of there's, those games. Yeah, those games and Elf mm. Kisser. There's going to be Elf Kisser and Reed's Shadow Legend games. The Reckoning, Elf Kisser. <laughs> Reed Shadow Legends, Elf Kisser. The Reckoning. You got to put that at the end. Oh, you have to put the Reckoning? Yeah. Okay. It'll, it'll be a whole new trope instead of Chronicles and Gaia and Dragon Dungeon. So maybe it's behavior. Position, speed, angle. I'm just gonna start putting in numbers because this is how I learn. Like, yeah. oh, if you put a number here, it does a badoop a doop, and then you're like, oh, if I want a gajoopy joop, how do I do that? I'm like, well, you take the badoopy doop and you put a G in it. It's gajoopy joop. Oh, have to make that no ten. kidding. You might have to make like, that. Yeah. Oh, 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 my oh, God. Doing it. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? <laughs> Watch him whip. Watch him. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> I think it's all messed up because you got a one here. In nah, the nah, <laughs> nah. Okay, all right. This what, is how it whips. What is even happening here? <laughs> Harold straight, <laughs> Harold straight whipping it right now. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't know what's happening, but we'll figure okay, it out. Okay, how could we use Speed this as an animation? Okay, let's let's maybe not go straight to ten. Let's go to like two. <laughs> let's change these all to two. Okay. Oh yeah, that's wow. that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know why I feel the need to add sound effects to the particles, but I'm gonna have fun doing that. Yes. Well, obviously your your animations are gonna need sound effects, so it's gonna happen. Dee doo be doo doo. So lifetime zero. If we give it ten, does it mean? It just disappears after such a lifetime infinite. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is how we determine how long they last. So it's a 180 frame animation and the heralds will last for, let's say a second and a half. So it's a two second animation where the heralds will last for, well, what's the point of that then, huh, right? Why don't we just set that to 180? So that they disappear right at the end of the animation. 
Oh, because they just disappear completely. All right, let's do 120. We're going to get a... Nah, let's go back to 90. I think that was pretty good. <laughs> Red yeah, Phoenix because says, they fade out. <laughs> Red Phoenix says, I still don't see anything even resembling somebody getting hit by a sword yet. How would we do a sword animation? Well, we're doing one thing at a time. I'm, right. Well, I'm sure at one point I'll be like, how to make a sword attack. And it'll be like a three minute tutorial right. on how to use it. And right. that's... Right now we're we're learning. I wanted to say this is not a tutorial. I put that at the beginning so everyone's clear. I'm not trying to tell you what to do or show you how to do it yet. I need to learn. And so that's what I'm doing here. If you want to come hang out, that's awesome. Wait, what, what are they doing now? They're, They're just doing a jig. That was cool. Nah, he's, he broke it. He's... It was... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Wait, wait, wait. What is what is going on here? They're like squishing. Oh, yeah, 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 boy, get the wobbles. He's got the wobbles. <laughs> he, we got the wobble, Harold. That's so cool. This is your brain. This is your brain on Harold. <laughs> <laughs> He's got them wobble flutter effects. This is great. If I change it, it's going to mess it up. Yeah, let's... Three. More wobbles. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, wow. so I've learned if you if you scale <laughs> X uh, higher than the Y and Z, you get a wobble effect. I love that. So I'm let's totally put, using wobble. All right, let's put. Um, let's see what kind of wobble. Okay, so if they don't match, you wobble, but you wobble at different variations. <laughs> it's this one's better. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> the death of Harold. Oh, poor Harold. This is what happens to you if you go into space, so I mean, it's kind of accurate, right? Eh, it's too much. Let's go to two. Just a slight... This is Harold after eating Jello. He's super wiggly, man. Expansion rate? Uh, does it keep getting bigger? Yes, it does. Wow. Yes, it does. Okay, that's a lot of... <laughs> this is... Ah, ah, what's happening? <laughs> Harold, I'm sorry! I promise I won't use MZ! I promise! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't kill me, Harold! He's coming for... He's coming through the screen! Alright, let's 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 change that down a little bit. Uh, 0 0.1, maybe, or 0 0.2. Uh, 0 0.1. 0.1. Oh yeah, he, he he gets bigger. That's that's a little too much still. Uh, let's do point zero five, and then we'll, wow, it's so cool how like it just you change one number and it just changes the the the, the particle way around point uh, zero five. This could work like if you only have one particle, this could work as a summon attack. Oh yeah, just have it come in and wobble, yep, and then and play move, a sound move, move. effect, and <laughs> you, you add sound effects to the particle inside the MZ mm -hmm. animations tab. Yeah. Let's build a game that every skill effect spawns different heralds. You could do that. Could. In fact, that was going to be the idea behind my 580J jam, but it, it didn't, you know, it got old too fast. Yeah. So I just saved it so that you just see Harold at the end and the boss doesn't move, you see Harold come out. And I was like, that's enough. <laughs> this is the fate of Harold, subjected to cruel experiments for the new engine. He gets bigger. I was going to do that's what she said, but I didn't. I think I missed it. I missed the opportunity. He gets bigger. This is so trippy. I, I don't like... Uh, obviously, this isn't like an animation you would want to use in your game, probably. Uh, but... I can see how it could be used. Like I said, yes. just make it one particle and have it um, be an image of a summon that you want. And like, if you set it higher, set the position higher on the screen, it'll swoop in and check just, this like, out. I get what you're saying. Yeah, like this you is just, like fire coming from a dragon's mouth. Oh yeah. What yeah. if we change this to flame? That it would, would look awesome. great. Let's change it to flame. The, we, the, we've the, experimented on poor Harold enough, haven't <laughs> we? Let's, the possibilities are endless with this. Let's uh, let's go to the uh, which one is it? Is it the basic settings? Which one is it again? Render settings, right? For if we want to change the sprite, basic render set, yeah, basic render settings. This golden box. 
for the sprite. Let's load, let's load an animation or something. What do I have in temp? What do I have in pictures? Nothing here. What do I have in system? Mm. No, Nat, you didn't miss the second giveaway. It's going to be at the end of the Yeah, sprite. at the end we're going to give away a couple more. We don't want a huge PNG. We just kind of want to... I'll look in uh, Amalgamation because I have a ton of uh, them in, in the Amalgamation. IMG pictures. I'm just going to control the middle mouse up to get a bigger look at this. Let's make it this uh, the static fire guy. Wow. So I've changed the playback speed. I'll put it back to one. You know, it kind of looks like a Final Fantasy style Ifrit, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. It's super cool. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna do one with like little butterflies, and they're gonna float and fly around the player, and that's what the, the heal animation is gonna be. There's little healing butterflies. What is separation? Not sure. Generating time span. Oh my God, we broke it. <laughs> I love it though. Yeah, it's wicked cool. Hey, this is a like legit animation. So I would say your best bet is not to follow the documentation because you might get too bored. Some people love that. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm reading the documentation. <laughs> no, no. I looked at it. I looked at the first part and I'm like, I don't want to animate a box. This is what everyone's doing. I'm going to I'm gonna go in. I'm going to throw a PNG file in here. I'm going to change numbers around and have fun because if I make it fun to myself, I'm going to spend a lot more time learning it if it's fun than if I look at it as a chore. And I think that's the way that I've... It depends on your learning style. It does. It really does. Everybody I would, I learns differently. Bored. I would get bored doing it your way because I'd want to do a certain thing, and if I couldn't figure it out, I'd be like, ah, screw this. Well, but I if will... I go through the documentation and it teaches me step by step, yes, then I... I'm not bored. Right. Well, the thing is, I, I don't um, say that I will only use this method for learning. Right. But... To get myself excited with the new software, I'm going to try to make it very fun at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to dive right into the documentation, but I will resort to going to the documentation when I can't figure out a specific thing. When I remember, I was like, how do I change the image? How do I do this? We still need to find how to make it rotate like a tornado. Like a corkscrew, yeah. Like a corkscrew. So let's find, uh, let's find how to do that. We've got angular speed. If we change the angular speed on this to 10... It's not really angular speed, though, is it? It's rotation that we're wanting to change. Right. And so rotation's right here. Let's go to rotation and angular velocity, angular velocity, angle. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have different numbers here. But we need, we need uh, angular acceleration, mm. I think. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, it's deviating with a zero. Yeah, you gotta have a number. Doesn't seem to be doing anything here. What do I put all these at zero? Okay, what about this one? Did that do anything? Yeah, it does. Oh, oh, oh! You see why? This is, cool. is this is what I like to do. That's awesome. It looks like a big like snake. Thing. It, we made a oh gosh That's, we made a kind of disturbing but we made a we made a slug animation yeah. didn't <laughs> we like a slug oh my gosh instead of making this fire let's change the image to something liquidy like a slug looking, <laughs> yeah. right I mean this is a just because you like you're probably not gonna go into this engine and be like I'm gonna make an animation that's going to do this I would say throw some pictures in it first mess around and change numbers and then be like I don't know how what I was trying to make but I ended up with this and you and save that and then start over we yeah. made right now it looks kind of like a fire serpent but if we made like a little water slimy slug image in there Let's see, uh, act, uh, SV enemies, control and middle mouse, scroll. Let's get like a slimy slug and see if we can, something watery, that might work. I was thinking blue, just, ooh, jellyfish. No, the troll. <laughs> <laughs> How about him? Let's just use the defaults. Ooh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. oh. I love it. That's disgusting. I love it. That's that's like that's a legit animation right there. <laughs> like we could use that in MV or MZ. Yeah. I, I want to do that actually. 
<laughs> I'm going to. Okay, so let's move on to something I, de I definitely wanted to discuss before we run out of uh, time. Um, how do you save your files? How do you. Right, yeah, et, we should et cetera, et cetera. Definitely. Frame count, that's 600. What if we put it at 100? Okay. Uh, blend mode, let's do additive. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> wow. That's maybe a little bit too much. Try like five. Subtract. Okay, let's do multiply. Let's do opacity. No, definitely the blend. The blend. And uh, we could put some. No, what? Was that it? That was it, huh? Mm -hmm. It kind of looks like a centipede. A yeah, it bit. does. Or a, a millipede. It's a little terrifying. It's kind of like a millipede slimy. Blech. It was on blend, I think. Depth set? I don't know. Yeah, depth test. It's very fluidy. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to stop playing with this shiny new toy. <laughs> <laughs> Fade out, um, frame count 100. I had this at 500. It definitely changes it. Is this going to crash? That's too much. Now, this is pretty basic because we're only working on one node, but I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, like, change the direction, like, say you wanted it to go around the square, you would add another node to change and have it go in a direction. No, no. Another, another node. node is another animation happening. Right, exactly. So it would end and then, but start, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you wanted to make it look like it was traveling around no, no, a no, circle. No, no, no. I no? definitely think that would be an arduous way to do it. You would just find the right combination of numbers... Uh, the angular velocity, the angular blah blah blah, and on that one node, it will just turn and accelerate and go in whatever direction. You don't have to draw stuff in lines and curves. You can make something just go blah, 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 like a tornado. We just mm -hmm. haven't figured it out. Yeah. That's all. Got to figure it out. Yeah. I'm gonna go through the documentation today. That's my job, and this weekend. So by Monday, I should know a heck of a lot more about like the official ways to do things on the software. I literally haven't had a lot of time to look at it. I think I'm on page three of the documentation, and like halfway through, so didn't really get far. You have created the most frightening summon. <laughs> the, the millipede slime attack. Yes, it is very frightening. It makes me think of how centipedes, which are the only thing on the entire planet that can make me freeze in my tracks out of terror. They're the, the most scary things in existence. Let's give it an F curve instead. Whoa. That was weird. Is this gonna do anything? Maybe not. Standard? Let's just go back to standard. Alright, whatever. Inherit color? Root? Depreciate it? Oh, they don't use that anymore. Only on create. <laughs> we have an Always. RPG Maker web person in the chat it says, There you go, now. There we go, now I can pretend I'm important. Who are you? Reveal your identity. Yes, I'm Touch. I just woke up. <laughs> hey, Touch Fuzzy, if that's really you. What's up, Touch? We're just trying to figure this out. We still don't know what we're doing yet. Getting uh, more better ideas as we go along. I recommend people do what I'm doing here and uh, do just mess around with the numbers. You don't have to know what everything stands for. In fact, you know, you won't, obviously, because you don't know until you learn. But you can see what it does to your PNG file. So pick a PNG file and then start going through the windows and then, uh, you know, create a new node if there isn't one there and start changing settings around. Remember, this is how many frames the whole animation is. Oh, uh, okay, I wanted to save it, right? So mm -hmm. I'm done messing with this slimy thing. Yeah, I think it looks great. Yeah, we do afterwards. So I'm going to click um, files and then I'm going to save as and I'm going to put it wherever I want. In this case, I created a new folder. Uh, where I'm going to put all the new stuff of MZ, FX Seeker, and custom made. So I'm going to give it a name, and we're going to call it the Millipede Slime Attack. Now this saves a file that you can then open again in FX Seeker, and it'll have all your settings remembered, and you can start from where you left off. Right, so when you do a save as, this is your project file. I think in older versions, the save type used to be EFKPROJ, so Effect Seeker, Effect Seer Project File. Now it says an EFK EFC, which is an Effect File Effect, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah. An Effect Seer File Effect. 
And um, this is this is one of the two formats that you need to save your project as, or three if you want to share it as a GIF. Well, but we're going to get to that. Ooh. Another thing on top of saving I want you to go over because I want to know how you did it is there's the an in, yeah, the inbuilt GIF I, maker. I, yeah, I already yeah. got you. I'm already there. Um, so Millipede Slime Attack, we're saving it as an EFK EFC first. It doesn't really matter the order, but we want to get both versions. So we saved the project. So if, say, I wanted to send this to another person for them to open up inside of Effects here, you would want to send them this file. Mm -hmm. But say you wanted to create a, low a lower weight effect that you put inside of MZ, you're going to do another thing. We're going to click on Export. So it doesn't give you any options. It well, just says... Presumably. We don't know exactly how it's going to go into MZ, but we're assuming. I, I'm assuming that, yeah. 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 What else would you use it for? You, this is the file, the .efk file, that you're, it's a low weight file. It's very small, so that makes sense why they would be using it, right? right? right. So instead of a 100, 200 um, maybe, kilobyte maybe PNG, it's a one can, kilobyte, um, you know, EFK file. Maybe Touch Fuzzy can confirm, wink, wink. Right, so Touch Fuzzy, <laughs> when, what do you um, load into the engine? It's the .efk file. Right, it's not the it's not the project file. It's not the e. It's not the KC one, right? It's the EFK. So either way, I'm gonna say this one as the same name, but as an EFK. So this is the millipede millipede slime attack. But we're not gonna save it as the as a project or EFK EFC. We're just gonna put the name, and it'll put the type in as the EFK. Boom, lightweight. You can you have the option. It's the project files, I think. Let me check though. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, I was assuming the the lower file size one would be the one that you'd want to import. I thought I saw it was the other one. That's why I was questioning it. Okay. I think I saw somebody mention it, but you know, I've read like a hundred trillion posts. I'm guessing. I'm just yeah. guessing. So yeah, you know, we're take just... everything I say with a, with a grain of salt. So you get the option to magnify this. I just leave it at one. Uh, then it saves it. Um, so that's the two formats that you're able to save it right now. But. There's another thing, it's so cool, that's built into this, um, it's built into this little software. engine software thing, yeah. And you can also record a, a GIF file or an AVI to, to show people your animation without having them load it into the software. Which, I'm going to be honest here, is one of the things I like the most so far. That's so cool. Okay, Easy way so, to show it off. So he says it's the project file. So um, I noticed in this version, oh, 1.52G... Um, you you can't save the EFK PROJ. It doesn't give you that. Is that a depreciated way? Because now the project file is an EFK EFC. Mm -hmm. I think it's the same thing. So the EFK EFC is the same as the EFK PROJ. I think so. So you have your your Elf Kisser project file <laughs> is the same, uh, but it just has a different extension, right? So when you load it, are you loading the EFK EFC file into MZ? Or, or is it the EFK proj file? Because those, I don't know how to create. Because it does this version doesn't let you create EFK EFC. Confirmed. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. So you really, to use it in MZ, you would, well, you would probably only need to save the project file, right. which you can send to somebody else to load up inside yeah, that's so cool. Also, it loads into the, it integrates into the JSON somehow, so it just yeah. transfers those numbers that, that's, somehow. That's amazing because this, you know what that means is that if um, you're sharing this with your friends and you share with them the, the, the file that you put in MZ, they can then open Effect Seeker, open it, and, and tweak it and change it to the way they right. want it to be. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. I like that. So if you click on Window and you go down to Recorder, you get this tab opening up. Um, then you can select the size, how many pixels wide, how many pixels high that you want to record. Um, wait, there was another option. Oh, okay, it's it's sorry, it's right here because I didn't have it full size. Look, look, there we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So um, you get the option to make a GIF, export as a single image, export as several images, probably 180. Maybe that's how you make the sprite sheets. Yeah, maybe. That's cool. And then, but you wouldn't you wouldn't import sprite sheets. You just Im no. import the um, Elf Kisser effect file. So the wanted, EFK EFC file is what you're going to put into MZ. If you wanted to use it in MV right now, you could make sprite sheets and then arrange it properly and use it in MV because it converts it to 2D images. You could. Yep. Absolutely. That so this that's how you would put it in right. in, in V. No plugin needed. Just you have to get on GIMP or but something. But that would be a pain in the it ass is. to it do. Is. It's more work than the way you already have. But you can also save a movie file in ABI. We're going to do a GIF and then I'm going to put it on the Discord to show. Um 
So I like to click on the show guide because then it lets me know how much I have to zoom out to like show off the image. So I'm gonna click on the show guide. In fact, <laughs> I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna do 512 by 512. Touch that. that way I can zoom in more. I'm here for the fan name of Elf Kisser. I hope the joke never ends. We're going to keep it alive. I'm sure it'll... On just, our end, we're going to keep it alive. I'm sure it'll continue. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm making it a little bit bigger. Um, we're going to start on frame one and end on frame 180 with a frequency of one frame. So play one frame every frame of the GIF. Uh, we're going to export as a GIF. We're going to say use the original image for the, make tra the background. Um... I guess you can generate an alpha, so it'll, it, I, I've only exported one, so and I've used use original image, um, and I think it made a black background. What? Before you finish, um, to post it on the forums, it has to be under a certain size. Two megabytes. Two, so what was that, 60 frames? Because you have 180 here. I'm not going to put it on the forum. Okay. I'm going to put it on the Discord. But if you did want to put it on the forum, change the end frame to 60, and it should I, be right. the right size. When you export it, you'll see the file size, yeah. and you'll realize, okay, the resolution's too big. Okay, there's too many frames. Right. So if you want to put uh, this on the forum, they have a pretty small limit of 2 megabytes per file upload. Mm -hmm. um, on Discord, it's 8 by default. But if you have Nitro, it's 50. And on our channel, for everybody, it's 50. Cause... That's true. You don't even need Nitro. On the Discord, uh, for, for our server in particular, we have a level 2 server with 15 boosts that gives us uh, everybody who shows up has everybody there gets can upload up to 50 megabytes mm -hmm. of files uh, in single in a single file as well as uh, they can stream on our discord at 1080p and they have better 256 kilobit sound and like just, just better stuff but that's beside the point um, I don't really have a limitation right now because uh, 50 megabytes, this is definitely not going to be 50 megabytes right. GIF file. It'll be like 5 or 10 or something. So I'm making a 512 by 512, pretty large and in, in, in charge here, with uh, 3 seconds at 512 uh, size, and it'll be 180 frames as an animation. I'm actually going to say use original. Wait, generate alpha blend plus add. I, I want to export with multiple to, to really know what these do. Um, I imagine it'll just change the background that it's shown. So I'm gonna just say use original image for now, and then uh, what we're going to do is save it in uh, effects of your application or the project. project. Save setting. We'll save it. Oh, setting save destination. What does that even mean? The setting save destination. I don't know application oh oh our settings right here do we want them to stay what we have when we load it up again in a new uh, we could put this setting to application do we want these settings to stay only in this project mm, then okay. you would select that I, I'm just gonna leave an application because I don't think that last one really does much of anything it just it determines what do you want to save in our default CFG file or mm -hmm. it probably doesn't use a config file but it's something config but anyway regardless that's kind of more technical than it needs to be we give a name uh, to our GIF, I'm gonna put it right here, and it's gonna be called Slime Millipede Attack dot GIF. Bang. Oh, and it's super fast too. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Discord and see what use original image does for the background of this. That's what I'm personally looking to see right now. So we'll go into RPG Maker MZ. Scroll down and add. Uh, where did I put it? I know where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> MZ effects here, custom made uh, the GIF. Boom. How big is it? It is, I don't know, <laughs> six, oh, six, six, six megabytes. megabytes. Oh, that's not too bad. So even without Nitro, that would fit. Yeah. Did it give you the background? And nope. there That's it is. That's super cool, though. So this is the, the fruits of our labor. We probably should have saved the Herald into Space one. Mm -hmm. But we'll make more Heralds oh, into yeah. Space, don't oh, worry. Yeah. Herald has not seen the last of me yet. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe the one day when Santa's not around. Oh, you guys are having this whole side, content, t side talk about... Santa Claus. I don't even know what's happening over here. This is some, some lewd stuff happening in the chat. <laughs> Behave yourself. Do so you know what time it is, honey? 
It's time to do the giveaway. We it's have two more Discord time. Nitros to give away, sponsored by Vino. Thank you, Vino. Um, let's open up the amazing project that uh, I'm really happy with this slime attack. It was like <laughs> I want to I want to put it in MZ already and give it some custom animations I put in Audacity. I want to get like a like I don't know. So I'm gonna get my hands wet with soap and just go. <laughs> <laughs> I made a crunching sound effect with lettuce. We yesterday. recorded it last night. Was she was great. eating some lettuce and a salad, and I'm like, "That is a fantastic crunch." Can I <laughs> can I bother you? And I put both mics to her face, <laughs> and then we recorded some crunching sound effects for later use. Let's do the giveaway. Let's, Let's do, do the, the giveaway. giveaway. Okay. Time to give stuff away. All Who right. Who wants nitro? If you want nitro on Driftwood Gaming Server, well, it's being given away on Driftwood Gaming Server. Please put me in the chat right now. Say me, 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 me. Yeah. Type T. No. Type me. No. Me. <laughs> Type, I got, in, the, I got type in the letters M E to um, to enter the contest to win a 30 day Discord Nitro subscription at no cost to yourself. Sponsored by Vino. Thank you, Vino. Okay, we got some names coming up. Better get ready. All right, so you're gonna read them. I'm gonna type them. Okay. okay? So first uh, of he all, said to talk to me to restart. Nope, I gotta start a party first. <laughs> I love the lighting that you have. I think I've already asked him when he was on. But Vino, what lighting do you? How do you do the lighting here? Are you are you showing pictures and blend modes and stuff like that? Just circles. It looks like they're moving around like as a particle or something. Either way, okay, let's you get started. You guys talked to me to restart it. He said, "Oh no, okay, never mind." I didn't save anything. Right. I, I just closed the program and uh, reopened it. Okay. Which is the way I'll do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Kaz is lighting. Okay. Didn't Kaz move away from RPG Maker? Yes. Feels bad, man. Yeah. He'll come back. Watch. Hopefully. Watch. And listen, MV, people can't resist new RPG Maker engines. You're going to see <laughs> RPG Dawn. You're going to see some random dude. You're going to see a bunch of people. Wait, what are you doing? I press buttons. I'm I was, patient. I was, on a t I was talking about the I'm return impatient. of many <laughs> loved figures. Shh. No. What are you doing? <laughs> That's not how you spell Nat. <laughs> she has a capital N, okay? Okay, Nat. All right, next. The real Tron. Zora. Zora? Zora. Okay. Jamie Cassidy. Zora? Wait, yeah, where is Zora? Zora? Oh, Zora 13, okay. Right. Jamie Cassidy. Echo Teco. Ren Phoenix. Smooth Boy. Smooth shit. <laughs> A lost. Barrel claw. Human. Smo oh no, not Smo. He already won. Smo just won. Yep. I think that's it. Anybody else? We'll get we'll give you two minutes. Same me yeah. if you want nitro. Couple minutes. Get and entered then we're in on the contest. Boom. Yeah, this is going to be for a 30-day subscription to Discord Nitro. Okay. Links in the description below to join our Discord if you want. Put Corey Davis in. We know he wants to be. Yeah, he said it. Yep. I mean, Corey Davis probably has like a bajillion years of Nitro already, but let's win it. Yeah. Remember to only click add if you, you want to add someone add. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's true. Okay. Okay, give One it another minute. minute. Give it another I'm minute. Take a sip of water. Justin, hey, there's Justin Gibson. Justin. Hey, Justin, how are you doing today? <laughs> Justin's gonna have me play his game soon. Yay! Oops, I don't know if I was supposed to say that. <laughs> Justin, I'm sorry. Now he's like, I gotta finish it. I gotta get it done. <laughs> Crunch time! <laughs> Must finish game! talking about on the discord about how this slime attack is creepy i can't agree more it's a little i love it's a little, it. it's a little terrifying it it's might give me nightmares. so awesome i love it centipedes it's and millipedes are very uh, it just needs sound effects okay <laughs> oh but god we'll, don't even got, <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry about that okay contest time okay contest are everybody ready who's the winner oh wait we're gonna pick two winners Soon means Monday, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Are you have... sure everyone is at it? I believe so. We're going to have two winners this time. It's going to be so much fun. We have our 12 lucky participants. Talk to T for the results. <laughs> Look at the bottom left. You have this uh, um, music player going. Isn't that <laughs> cool? It just has a bunch of music in it. 
All right, um, I bet I picked the best winners in history. We're going to choose two winners, a king and a queen. Touch says, hope no one has to use that mic after you spit all over it. <laughs> no, this is, I have my own mic, thank goodness. <laughs> They're both my mics. Ah, I spit on them both. He Little does. do you know. It's true. It's I've true. had this one since I worked at a radio station. So, <laughs> like, the Valley's Q96, number one in the music station. Next song, we're going to hear the same shit that we play every day. Welcome back. And call in. The power hour, three o'clock, drive at five. <laughs> All that shit stuff. Sorry. Real family Tron family friendly. Be, wait, Real Tron wants to be a queen so he can marry Corey. Oh, okay. We'll let's make his see. dream come true. Choose me two winners, please. A king and a queen. It'd be so funny if he actually shows up as the queen. Does it Does it say the winner? The winners Vero are Vero Claw and Nat. Congratulations. Congratulations, Vero Claw and Nat. You know, I love this thing. It's so damn cool, it is man. It's so cool. <laughs> Even no. the music is like do 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 do. <laughs> the music choice is even it works. It's like the full. It's the whole package, man. Vino's a genius. Yeah, Vino's All right. a genius. Thank you. Congratulations again, Vino. to Vero Claw and Nat. Um, Vino sponsoring this, to, also to show off such a cool f- program, right? Yeah. That he wrote. It's so cool. That he made in, in <laughs> RPG Maker and V. Ren Phoenix rigged. Rigged. Oh, come on. Oh, come come on. on. You know what? Keep keep coming to our live streams because I'm pretty sure this is not the last giveaway we're going to be doing. Well, yeah, we're going to be doing some more giveaways for sure. <laughs> um, so, Barrel Claw and Nat, if you didn't see it earlier, all you have to do to win is click on the link in the description below. But you guys are already on the Discord, so I don't have to say that. But anybody else, the link to the Discord is there in the description. You can join us. When you um, get here, right click on Vino's name and then just message Vino. Know, and then he will private message you a button you can click that will automatically credit your account for 30 days of Discord Nitro. Congratulations to the winners, and thank you everybody for coming to the stream where we sent Harold off into space. <laughs> we launched Harold into space, and we made a disgusting, and we centipede, made a disgusting centipede slime attack. Yuck! Um, and we're gonna do a lot more of that stuff. Um, I'm, we plan to make tutorials on this up in the next coming week, and so uh, weeks. To come, we'll do a in lot more. In the future times. In the future times. Uh, <laughs> so stay tuned. I hopefully you guys had. I hope that you guys all had fun uh, at the live stream today. I had a lot of fun. Please um, continue working with this uh, and and let me know like any questions you have, so I know what to tackle when it comes time to do the tutorials and whatnot. Um, please let the next giveaway be for MZ. Well, we'll have to wait and see uh, how that works. You know. Right now you can't buy it, so we'll have to we we'll have to wait. Um, yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for today's live stream. It's a good a good place to end it. I'm gonna keep this this running until the end. Um, you guys are awesome. Stay awesome. I'm gonna read off the names in the chat. If you guys want us to play our games, your game on stream, that's a reward for the twenty dollars here on our Patreon. We also offer several other things there. Check out the Patreon. And um, thanks to everybody for being here. Skepsis D, I see you there. Thanks for tuning in. Smooth Boy 6 thank you for tuning in. A Lost Soul Stone, anybody who I miss, anybody who's lurking, I appreciate the views and the eyes on the channel. So thank you, even if you don't say anything. Ellen Edwin, thank you so much for being here. We gave away three copies of MV yesterday, um, so we, you know, it's 80% off. If you guys don't have, if you guys haven't pulled the trigger on buying RPG Maker MV yet, I recommend you guys go to Steam, get it. It's cheapest as it's ever been. It's 80% off right now. There's Lily, so yeah. it's time to. It's, it's time for time us to go. go. Thank you guys for coming. Rin Phoenix, Allah Soulstone, Ellen Edwin, Jamie Cassidy, Nat, Majora Wolf 29, Vero Claw 23. Congratulations and thank you for being here. Human H, thank you so much. Vino, always a big shout out to you. Love you, dude. Allah Soulstone, Vero Claw 23. Um, repeating some names. Rin Phoenix, RPG Maker Web, thank you so much, Touch Fuzzy, for showing up. I appreciate you being here. I really do. Thank you so much. Smo Valadorn, a Lost Soulstone, Zora, getting some repeats. Echo Teco, Jamie, The Real Tron. <laughs> Who else? Who else? Try not to just repeat the same names. Scrolling here. I hear you, baby. I'm gonna come. I'm coming right now. Mommy can go get her. It's time to get baby. Yes. Little Pie, thank you so much. You guys have an awesome day. Uh, it's been fantastic. We're going to mess around a lot more with this. Stay tuned in the Discord where we're going to continue working on this once we uh, can come back to the computer and do more stuff. Nicholas Palmer, hey, you created the most frightening summon. Yes, we did. Thank you for tuning in and being a part of that. 
it, it's it just remember that you are part of the reason why that that slime exists just know that nicholas so whenever you see that slime attack in future games you're going to be like what did i contribute to <laughs> <laughs> Warp Enigma with a 50 knock super chat saying, have a good time, everyone. Whoop, whoop. Take care. Uh, Zora13, thank you for being here. Now is 337, Little Pie Red. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, baby makes a cameo. You gonna say hi, baby? Did you get a big nappy? You got a big nappy. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, ELV Games, see, there we go. I see you there, man. I see you. Thank you for being here, ELV. You're welcome. And <laughs> Douglas Nascimento. I th des de Nascimento. Thank you, Douglas, for tuning in. Uh, new name to me. I'm glad you decided to say hi today. Appreciate you here, if you're still here. And that's it. That's all the names. Love you guys. See you on Monday, 2 o'clock Eastern Thanks Standard Time. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. We'll be on Discord putting up more animations and more um, little things. There may be impromptu small things over the channel, um, but just stay... Uh, just If you're in the Discord, you'll know because... Um, even if YouTube doesn't send you notifications, we have this little channel here called the official content where anytime I post a video I, I put I also link it to it right here uh, Also all the live streams almost all sometimes I forget to post them But almost always you will see it here on official content as well as little details about what's happening with the channel and anything about technical issues um, This is a really good uh, discord in my own opinion for sure We have a lot of different content and and there's there's an audience for all types of stuff here This isn't just for our RPG Maker, it has other engines as well, as well as people who like to garden and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, we have the garden right here where we, we post pictures of, you know, the garden stuff, <laughs> I guess, with the weather and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see you guys on Discord, because um, that's where we're going to be over the weekend. Also, if you do join, you are able to, to spam your website slash live streams videos inside the self promo just go ahead and put a link in there so that people can see what you are working on um, we have like 500 members online actively and, and thousands of people uh, who uh, just come and Sillstone, go you could put questions about Elf Kisser in uh, RPG Maker MZ any speculation or talk on RPG Maker MV is welcome on the forums Touch Fuzzy and Narcade Hand will do a good job over there but you're also welcome on the discord right here um, with uh, this little tab right there so that's it have a fantastic weekend. Goodbye for real this time. We'll see you guys on Monday. Bye. Bye-bye. I love the music in it, too. You don't hear it because you don't have headphones no. on. You're missing out. <laughs> hey, Damien. What's up, man?